Greetings. I'm Dr. Robert Woods with the Paideia Academy. I am really looking forward to teaching this course on civics and civility. Over the years, you may have heard somebody use the expression, this is not your mama's car, or this is not your daddy's church, or some expression similar to that. That's really an idea that's trying to capture the notion that things have really changed so much, they've changed substantially, and they're not the way that they used to be. While that's true, and there's some truth to this, this particular course on civics and civility is really going to be a throwback. It's going to be something, an attempt to recover an older approach to understanding U.S. history and U.S. government. The focus is really going to be on what it means to be a citizen and our roots. We're going to be looking at some important books and some great ideas through this particular course. One book we're going to spend a good bit of time with is Russell Kirk's The Roots of American Order. We'll talk about how our order was established and where our roots are in the Greco-Roman Jewish Christian ethos. We'll also spend some time having some great discussions from this particular book, What So Proudly We Hail. In this book, edited by Amy and Leon Cass, they explore a number of writings all the way from stories and speeches and songs to try to capture the notion of what it meant to be a citizen. And then finally, and this is especially in light of the last couple decades, the United States of America has experienced a profound decline in civility. And so we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at Oz Guinness's book, The Case for Civility. Oz Guinness is a brilliant Christian sociologist who will help us understand what it means to be a citizen, an individual who has dual citizenship in this world that has um, collapsed into a kind of more of a commonplace barbarism. But most of this semester, we'll be spending time looking through these readings, reflecting on our roots. You'll be cultivating various skills, not only of citizenship, but you'll be cultivating skills of listening, reading, writing, thinking, and speaking. And I'm really looking forward to this course together. Throughout this semester, if you ever have any questions, you always are encouraged to email me. I look forward to interacting with you in this course.